Hi there, this is Omega Supreme here with a Transformers toy review. This time I'm having a look at Transformers Subscription Service 4.0 Needle Nose. I picked this guy up, um, must have been a couple of days back, got him delivered. Unfortunately there was a, a custom charge on him so I had to pay for that. He's the first figure in the fourth subscription service. Um, this is a, like a Combiner Wars themed Transformer. Um, basically once you've got all of them they then combine into Thunder Mayhem which is kind of like a, a Thunderwing um, kind of transformer and uh, this guy actually is packaged in his uh, vehicle mode comes in a normal kind of foam packaging um, really nice detail on him in vehicle mode you can see there's lots of extra paint that they've added um, this is actually painted rather than blue plastic from what it feels like anyway. Um, this is a really nice metallic green that they've used on the paint going down here which follows all the way through and these nice sort of go fast stripes down the back here and two Decepticon symbols either side and um, with the green paint there as well. Uh, I did notice there isn't any landing gear on this one so you know if you do want to lay him down like that he does sort of lean forward a little bit. Um, the other bits he does come with is, is his combiner kind of um, foot hand thing um, and also his gun which is uh, grey plastic rather than uh, black the ones used with Firefly here's a reuse of that mould and then he does come with two target masters as we've got these two here and they're both really nicely painted um, especially the, the purple one here um, this one's well painted but because it's painted yellow for black um, there's a few bits where it's not quite as bright but uh, I think they've done really well with both of them uh, really nice painted cool little sculpts on both of them and they both transform into little guns and what you can do with the guns is get them transformed like that so you've got one gun here and then the other one Transform him like that, fold the arms together like so. And if you don't want to put the guns underneath, you can pop these underneath on each side if you want to. If you want to give him that kind of target master look like that. Okay, so you've got that you can do with him. He does come with a bio as well and instructions. So here's his bio. It's a pretty good read. Uh, wait for it to focus. Lovely artwork on the side there, him with his target masters. Uh, you've got his technical data there, and his bio there, which kind of is really interesting. That kind of makes him out to be uh, into his kind of Cybertronian uh, fashion and culture. The yellow target master called Sunbeam, and the other one's called Sapati. Uh, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not. Uh, cardboard thing and then you've got the instructions here uh, just normal sort of one on here but you can see the picture on there shows you with him combined as Thunderwing and he looks like he's carrying a matrix there so perhaps that's an accessory that comes with it shows him in transforming into uh, both modes and also then into hand mode where he's holding his actual gun there as well uh, and then into foot mode and everything else Shows the transformation, how to transform the target masters and how to then also combine them as well. So let's get him transformed, have a look at him in robot mode. So take these two off for now. Obviously it's standard transformation. So fold these out and peg these from here like that. And peg from the back there. And peg these and then peg that into there like that at the back. Same it on here like that. Pull these back and these bits on the leg as well. Fold that up there. Pull the arms out like that and down. Bring this piece out back in. Peg that into there. Turn the head round. And then we've got him in robot mode. 
and you can see it uses the head, same head sculpt as Firefly, um, but just with the different colours and everything, you know, it just looks like a, a you know, completely different uh, transformer. Look at that there. It looks excellent. So down on here where they didn't, uh, they'd ha they did have paint apps on the other one. They haven't used it, so they've just gone grey with the Decepticon symbol. But then all over, you know, they've painted all the arms in purple, uh, which looks really nice. They've painted the midsection here in blue. The face is all painted yellow with the red eyes, which really stands out. And then on the legs, they've got loads of paint out. So this is all painted blue and on the inside as well. And you've got this kind of metallic green coming through and the yellow with the feet painted purple as well. So the colour scheme on him, I think is really nice. Um, like I said, he does come with his guns here, so you can have that in one hand. And then what you can do is you can combine these two together. Um, so look, you've got a little peg in either one, so you can peg those into each other. So just checking that's how it shows it. Oh yeah, in the instructions actually how they show it is they have this one here kind of opening up like that. And then uh, this, oh sorry, opening up like that. And then we get the hole there. There's a little thing on there and it just pegs in like so. And then you can just hold it in this hand like so. The peg's a little bit fiddly because they keep moving back all the time. So you have to kind of hold it in as you Like that. Then once he's in, he's in. So then got this kind of huge gun on the side there. <laughs> oh, bless me. Sorry about that. Um, so you've got this gun like that, and then you can also peg the combiner piece on the side if you want to on the back here, or you can have these just as pegged on either side like that. Or you can just have them as kind of separate robots, which is kind of how I prefer them at the moment. So you've got this guy here, pop him down here. So for the moment, that's probably how I'll have them displayed like that. The two robots and him on his own. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to getting the other figures in this set. I think they've made a really good start at this one. Let me see, like, he's, like I said about these bits coming off. But that's easily resolved. And you just peg that back into there, like that. That's how it goes. Oh, I pegged it around the wrong way. And I pegged that back in, like so. There we go. Um, I'm not going to do a size comparison because. You know, it's a standard deluxe figure, so most people kind of know what they look like. Um, I am going to be doing some more reviews, so I've got Grand Galvatron to review as well, the Unite Warriors um, version on the Galvatronus, so I'm going to be reviewing him and also Reflector as well. Hope you've enjoyed the review, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks, bye.